Hello everybody and welcome back to more political chatter. In this video we will be talking about Robert F. Kennedy Jr. once again and how he has qualified for the ballot in the battleground state of Michigan. Michigan is such an important part uh, of presidential elections uh, in the United States and Kennedy being on the ballot in Michigan as he is doing in many other states, you know, quickly getting ballot access across the United States very quickly, uh, quicker than really anyone expected, I'm sure even quicker than he could have expected and the campaign could have expected. But this, uh, every time Kennedy gets on the ballot in these battleground uh, states, it changes the race once again because Kennedy um, is someone who is polling around 10% of support across the United States. And, um, you know, this could, it could even be more than that in swing states. It could be, you know, a lot more than that, 15 to 20% on election day. Who knows um, if he gets on the ballot. And that is so significant when you look at these margins um, from 2020 and 2016. Just looking at Michigan, Donald Trump won the state of Michigan by 0.22%. Kennedy is probably going to get somewhere near 10% um, in the state. So, in Michigan... Or in Wisconsin, where Trump won by 0.7. Or Pennsylvania, where Trump won by 0.7. Or Arizona, where Biden won by 0.3. Or Georgia, where Biden won by 0.2. Every vote matters. And, te and um, millions of votes in each of these states. For Kennedy going to a third-party alternative, um, those votes, a lot of them coming from Joe Biden or Donald Trump, um, that matters so, so much in these races. It matters who Kennedy is pulling more support from. You know, when you consider that really, it was just about 50-50, um, right? I mean, when you think about it, realistically, a lot of these races in American history, they're just about 50-50. I mean, you cannot call these races, um, you know, accurately ahead of time. You're just not. If you get it right, you just got lucky. Um, you know, you can't, whatever, um, have, whatever, um, think that it's going to be like an 11,000 vote margin, um, as it was in Arizona. So, it is just about a 50-50 margin. And, you know, if, if a third party alternative who is winning millions of votes, one in ten, or even, like, one in eight votes are going to, um, someone like Robert F. Kennedy Jr., then that means that um, that someone, either Donald Trump or Joe Biden, is going to be hurt by Kennedy's candidacy more. That's just the facts. Kennedy, of course, as an independent candidate, is pulling a lot of new voters. He is pulling very high among young voters. I believe a few polls actually showed him winning voters aged 18 to 35 years old. Um, however... Still, you know, a lot of his base um, are new voters, but the fact of the matter is, um, you know, in this reality, he is going to be pulling more um, from Joe Biden or Donald Trump. And when American elections are decided by six states, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Georgia, Arizona, and Nevada, and multiple of them um, in 2016 and 2020 were decided by less than a percentage point, uh, let's say one, two, three, um, four or five of them to be exact, total, just not Nevada, um, then someone like Kennedy, who is who has so much support across the United States for a third-party option, uh, a level, you know, not seen um, before, or not seen um, since,